Okay, I got a couple more projects on hand. Uh, the first one is installing this um, ham radio, the TYT quad brand transceiver TH9800. I did some Google searches and it came out to be uh, consistently up there at a reasonable price, I think a little over $200. Uh, but uh, that's project number one. I've started to prep for that installation. I'm starting to take out uh, that little piece there. I'm gonna mount it on the opposite side of the Mid Midland GRMS radio there. So I'm gonna take this little piece out here um, to mount it and then run the wires similarly. Underneath, they'll pop down and I pop the side panel off here. Uh, there's the GRMS power and uh, ground. We'll run that underneath. I'm also, I have another um, spade attachment for a constant ground, so I'm gonna attach it there. And then when I get the antenna, I'm gonna attend it, uh, attach it to the third crossbar here, run the wires down into that same hole down here through the body underneath to this point here where it pops out and then run it underneath the seat. Sorry about that. Underneath the seat here, this is where I have the excess for the GRMS. Run it here and pop it in to the radio that will be here. So I'm going to go step by step, but that's the, the plan. And uh, next video clip will be the power, power and ground. And just for convenience and easier access, I have pulled the tray off that goes here. Pulled the molding off that attaches uh, here so I can lift up the carpet. As you can see, I've disconnected the seat, the four bolts on the seat uh, for two reasons. Gain access to run cables up here easier. So through here and up here, the antenna cables for the radios in here. I've had to pull off this panel here. Uh, my only caution, these are all pull clips in these different locations, except for this piece right here. So you wanna pull underneath, pull all these clips, reach up, pull the clips from here, under here, and then this little piece, it slides in, so you're gonna to wanna to slide that panel out. Otherwise, you're gonna pull and possibly uh, break that piece. So this is a 2021 GMC Sierra AT4 model with the center console. Just be aware of that little bit right there. There's a piece of molding here. Clips in two locations just pops up. I removed the, the paneling there, which also goes up to this quarter panel on this corner. Again, just to provide all the, the access. Oh, and then lastly, uh, this is little, I think there's some clips up here as well. Yep, there's a, a clip there. Um, I'll pull this down to access the wires underneath there to hide those. Okay, the power's been run for the ham radio. Again, I'm gonna install it on that piece right there. Still working on manipulating the mount because it's a little, it's in the middle of the radio and I need it at the top. But anyway, there's the, there's the power cord. Power cord runs through a hole in the bottom of that. Uh, then runs behind here. There's still the cover that needs to go on, so that'll be all hidden. Runs behind that. Uh, there's the two for the Midland GMR GRMS and the ham, the TY. I'm not sure, the 9800 or something. But it runs underneath, all wire tied, coming down to the ground, factory ground, and then uh, powering it up in the fuse box. I did it right there. That's a hot um, constant ground. I mean, sorry, constant uh, power. Uh, the two red ones have constant. The yellow one for the 
WeBoost is uh, switched uh, by the ignition. So uh, that'll get all covered up. Quarter panel will cover all that up, um, but everything's nice and tidy behind. Well, I got the four band ham radio antenna installed. It's on the third tower. I've got the WeBoost mounted on the second tower and my GRMS um, antenna on the first tower of the bed rack. Uh, this turned out, of course, to be another project, but it was at night, so I wasn't able to video it. But here it is installed. I got the wire loom on there. I'm gonna tie this up up here um, I'm not going to screw it in because screws would pop out the top uh, so I'm going to drill a hole and wire tie it on but I'll clean this up a little bit and get this tighter in there um, ended up being able to run them all through the same hole I did have to cut this out a little bit uh, to fit the the end on the ham radio was pretty uh, pretty big so I had to drill that out and I wasn't able to run it through the narrow tube reinforcement in the body because there was, uh, it was too big. So I'll go to get on the other side and show you what I did. So for the four band antenna uh, it's got this nice spring actuated uh, piece because it's very tall uh, that pops out and bends over so I velcroed it here. and uh, can pull it up and it stands up. But as you can see, it's pretty tall in comparison. So that nicely folds down. And again, Velcro's off to the other antenna. Ran the wire behind, as I showed you. This is all put away, but it pops up in that single location there as the other three antennas. Uh, the WeBoost antenna goes that way. Uh, the GRMS runs down the sill here. Uh, this ham radio was a little shorter, so I had to run it um, directly to the center, center console. Haven't put everything away yet, but they all come, or the two uh, radios come in here. And there's the Midland GRMS, the uh, Ham TYT, I think is the brand, is here. I still have to mount it on the inside. I'm going to mount it on this side. So you're going to have that kind of action with the two radios in the center console. Um, this is ready to button up. Again, I think I showed the wiring for this that runs across over here to the fuse panel. And uh, I'll button it all up and I'll give you a little picture of the um, final install on the radio itself in the center console. I know what I wanted to show you. So it runs down here um, on the inside. There was a, a little channel in the body that I ran the other two in. Um, The other two ran through there. This one I had to run on the outside. I'm not overly excited about it, but there's no way I was gonna get it down through this uh, tube portion. So I put some wire loom on it, just uh, a little extra protection. Wire tied it off there. Another wire tie connection comes uh, behind the frame mount here. I don't know how well this is coming out, uh, but behind the frame mount there, and then it goes into the the cab with the rubber grommet there. All three of them go right in there. That's the underneath look. Trying to wrap up the installation of the ham radio. I mentioned earlier that the bracket uh, set is supposed to mount here which pushes the top of this way um, too high. I wouldn't be able to close my center console uh, glove box. So I added these aluminum angle irons down the side uh, so I could slide the piece down where it comes up uh, pretty much flush to the 
uh, inside the center glove box. So that's what it ends up looking like. This is the plastic piece here uh, out of the factory uh, glove box or center glove box. Uh, this is the mount. These are the additional angle irons I put on. I need to go find the uh, bolts that go into here. I don't know where I put them, but uh, I think I'm going to paint these so they don't stand out like a sore thumb, and then I'll get a picture of it finally installed. Okay, there's the final mounting with the spray painted black. Doesn't look too bad. Got it hooked up. Antenna and power. Uh, then this plastic piece should slide in right there. Oh, of course it has to put the screws in. Okay, so I have to hold it. So there it is. I'll get the screws in. I'll um, get a picture of the final install. Okay, pretty close to my final install of my ham radio, uh, but also previously my GRMS Midland radio. They're both hidden in the center console glove box. There they sit. There's the Midland. There's the TYT uh, 9800. You can pull out both mics close. Power of the Midland. to learn how to use this thing. I also need to get uh, certification or a license for it. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to do, you can see the wires in the bottom. I'm going to build a false floor and, uh, and this will pretty much cover it up right now, but it'll be bumpy. So I'm going to create a false floor in the bottom and then set the mat on top of that. And this will be 100%. But there they are, both ham and GRMS. Bam.